All Electro Dragons. We're going with all dragons. Oh, this will be good. Hey guys, Zazo here. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and share button. And oh my gosh, we even put the subscribe across the screen today. I think we're getting a little too pushy. A little too pushy on the subscribe button. I'm hearing you and I'm feeling you. And we're going with the all electro dragon strat here on my Town Hall 11. I don't know if this is actually a strat. Like, I, I don't watch other YouTubers, so I don't really see the other attacks that are going on. I, I kind of only see what either I do, I try, or what's going on within my clans. And it seems that I don't have many clans sitting at the Town Hall 11 or 12 status. Um, I don't know what's going on with the Electro Dragons out there right now. I'm sure that Town Hall 11s are doing full Electro Dragons. And at my level here with level 2 Electros and weak heroes still, I'm pretty sure with max Electros sitting at a... Town Hall 12 with max heroes, they must be completely three-starring almost every base they would come across. I guess it would just depend on how they lay them down. I'm still using them the way I would kind of funnel my dragons. Uh, if you notice there, I'm putting one to one corner, one to another corner, letting them start to take those corners, get rid of that distractions. You don't want to put all your troops down on that front line and have them go left or right. You want them going in, so that's why I'm putting one on each corner, if you can see that. And then basically taking everything else right straight in with the Rage, trying hard for it. Keeping those freeze spells in case the Air Blowers or the Eagle Artillery is there, giving me a bit of a hard time. Uh, not exactly three-starring every base I'm coming across. Of course, some are weak. Those are seem to be fairly easy to three-star. Uh, Town Hall 9s and 10s are looking fairly easy to three-star. As you start getting up through the fully equipped 11s and into the 12s, I'm not really three-starring them so much, but I still am with really, really weak heroes. Let's be perfectly honest. Some of these attacks where I, uh, I don't quite get the three-star, I'm almost certain that with real heroes, I'd probably get a lot further. However, I'm enjoying them. I think they're pretty good. They're getting into them cores pretty quick, rocking things down. It's kind of hard to follow what they're doing. And uh, they're so slow, so beastly that, of course, it drives me a little bit crazy when something takes something just before something's about to, to, uh, to strike it. You know what I mean? Uh, one Electro Dragon will get that strike in first, just as the other one's been over there. And it's pretty much a waste of time for the other one to be sitting there, but... They slowly do work their way through into those cores. Here's one of those examples. Uh, actually, I don't know why I'm going to let the time run down here for some strange reason, letting the clock run down. Max Hero is right there at the bottom corner. Put them in. I, I think I could have got this base easily for the three stars. Still not a max base, so I'm not trying to say I've got any fancy skills, but I think I could have done it. Now, as for Town Hall 12s, fully maxed, lit up, ready to go, I've got no chance of three-starring those as well. Um, even with max heroes, I ain't going to three-star those. However, I haven't come across a base that I've lost yet using these Electro Dragons. I'm sure it's going to happen, and at which point when it does, I'll probably be like, yeah, mm -hmm, I should have stuck with the Lavalunian. But... I gotta say again, I mean, it is a pretty solid attack. Uh, they do make their way in there nicely, and a lot goes down fast. So much is happening at once. Really is kind of hard to follow. More or less, just kind of hope things are going right. This attack getting a little bit away from me here. Those, those dragons going a little too far to the right. I've got nothing there on that town hall. One dragon about to die on it. And they're slowly coming back in. That Electro Dragon far over there to the right took out that Archer Tower, allowed them to come back in. That's why it's so important to get the distractions gone. That's why you see me put one on one corner, one on the other corner, hoping that nothing goes out too far because if it does, that can take the whole army with it and you don't want your whole army going all the way around, uh, especially if you have an air army. I mean, there really is nothing worse than when your troops just go all around. So, watch out for that. Don't do that. Just don't do that. 
And now as a Town Hall 11, uh, you're going to find some of this stuff. You're going to find this as a 9. Actually, you're going to find this as an 8, a 9, a 10, 11, and a 12. You will find these bases. They do pop up once in a while. Uh, try to be nice, guys. Give the shield. All right, look, it took two of my Electro Dragons and all three of my heroes in there. I beat this base in the three-minute timeline, and I gave it its full shield. So just make sure that, you, you know, be it. Be a little bit nice. Nobody wants to get no shield at all. Oh, it's the worst. I can't remember. I think it was the other day on my Town Hall 7 account. I had gotten someone attack me, gave me no shield. Sure enough, 30 minutes later, minus 59. Uh, yeah, not really cool. If you're going to attack somebody, give them a shield, please. That's all I'm saying. Just be a little nice. And right here, here's that prime example. You know, that E-Dragon does so much work, drags himself over to that Tesla, starts huffing and puffing and getting ready, and then all of a sudden the queen comes running up, bam, takes it out. He's like, ah, oh, I gotta move again. Back, he starts moving, gets above it. That's, that's what I mean, you gotta watch when they're doing that. They are a little bit slow, so that's why I'm using the All Rage. I've thought about maybe trying to use some haste with them. I don't know. Um, they're pretty powerful as it is, so I'm not quite sure that the rage is getting me a lot further. Not, I, I guess I should try it out. I'm going to practice it on a couple bases. That's my next mission. Um, I'm just going to find some friendly bases, and my next army I'm going to cook up with all haste instead and see if that makes any difference whatsoever. However, I mean, I'm also not really running out of room with the five rage. Um... I'm pretty much covering the whole base. I guess I could have a little bit more on the back end to go with. Uh, but in situations like this base here, we are going to three-star this base. And this is where I say if I had my max heroes, I'm sure on some of the other bases I'd be doing it. Guys at Town Hall 12, I mean, this is an OP strat. And I'm liking it. And it's a lot easier to donate... Uh, to somebody e-dragons when you're already using them. I'm trying to get this video done too within the time of, I've got about uh, one hour left. Hopefully I can get this thing uploaded and out there because then I would have four videos in four days. I'm back. I had a little heart attack there. I thought about all that work I've been doing and four for four. Oh my goodness. Can we do more? Can we do five for five? How about six for six? Seven for seven? What do you guys think? I think I think we can. I think we can this time. <laughs> uh, no promises, though. No promises. And no idea why we were scrolling through there, looking around. Apparently, we wanted to find some bases and give away right away that this is going to be a three-star raid. And a dead Town Hall 12, still weak, uh, everything still weak, basically just upgraded to Town Hall 12 and pretty much said, yeah, that's it for me, I'm out of here. And doing the same style I'm always doing with them, the same basic technique I would do with minions and dragons. I'm going to use my minions to try and take out them corners. However, I'm not going to use minions here because minions can only get so many obstacles. And in this, if there's archer towers down on the corners or wizard towers, I'm never going to get it there with the minions. So I'm just going with all E-Dragons, not throwing anything else in there to try and help clear out any distractions. Uh, I could maybe start to use my heroes. Perhaps using my heroes more at the start of the strat to help also knock off one wall of distractions thus keeping my e-dragons staying more focused on the defense as opposed to also trying to get all the other buildings clearing everything around so we'll see uh i'm gonna play with this strat a little bit longer yet i'm gonna keep tweaking it uh it is cheaper i believe for this strat than an all dragon strat by the way so keep that in mind that i almost went broke using all dragons but 
So not too bad, not too bad. Uh, I, I, I'm happy with it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you guys used the E Dragon Strat? Um, anybody out there with a Town Hall 12 Max Heroes Max E Dragons? You doing it? How good is it? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.